Again, your hasanat, your balance continues to grow and continues to increase with Allah Azawajal. And so that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala presents for you this record on Yawm Al-Qiyam, it says, Iqra kitab, read your book. You'll be happy to read what you've done for yourself, what you put forward. This is the real investment, my brothers. This is the real wealth that we need to accumulate, that we need to work towards building for ourselves. The house, the car, whatever else you have in this life is not going to go with you. So what is the point of buying the most expensive car or buying the most expensive furniture to furnish your home? None of it is that going to go with you. So why not use this wealth that Allah has given you to put it forward for yourself? That is your real wealth. That is your real wealth as, as we've heard from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So let me inshallah, there are, as we said, there are hundreds if not thousands of ways of increasing our balance with Allah azawajal. But let me be a bit specific with our wealth, how we can invest our wealth with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can find this great return on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Is it on? In a hadith reported by Imam Muslim, Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, قَالَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ دِينَارُ أَنْفَقْتَهُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَدِينَارٌ أَنْفَقْتَهُ فِي رَقَبَةٍ وَدِينَارٌ تَصَدَّقْتَ بِهِ عَلَى مِسْكِينٍ وَدِينَارٌ أَنْفَقْتَهُ عَلَى أَهْلِكَ أَعْظَمُ أَجْرًا الَّذِي أَنْفَقْتَهُ عَلَى أَهْلِكَ This is one example of how you can spend your wealth and you'll get rewarded for Allah He says, a dinar which you spend for the sake of Allah Undoubtedly one of the best ways to spend your money to support the deen of Allah's word, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to help the spread of Al-Islam and to help support the Mujahideen. And then secondly, a dinar which you spend to free a slave, which we may not be able to do today, but we can do something similar, to spend our wealth to help release Muslim prisoners around the world. And a dinar which you give in sadaqah for the miskeen, for the poor, and a dinar which you spend upon your family. Which of these is the best, do you think? Family. Uh, family, subhanallah. So when you're spending on your family, this is spending on yourself. This is, gonna count, this is going to count for you on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. So Rasulullah said, A'adham ajran. The greatest reward is the one that you spent on your family. And that's where you start. And this is where we need to start with our families. And this is from the perfection of Al-Islam is that you don't go spending on strangers and ignore your family. This is a sin, that you leave your family and you spend on others. So you have to start with your family, of course, again in moderation, not going into excess or waste. Start with your family, your wife, your children. They're most deserving of, of your wealth. And then your relatives. You start with them and you'll get rewarded for all of this. And even what you bring home for your wife, if you do it for the sake of Allah, you'll get rewarded for it on Yawm Al-Qiyamah. If you have the right intention. Rasul said in the hadith, إِنَّكَ لَن تُنْفِقْ نَفَقَةً تَبْتَغِي بِهَا وَجْهَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا أُجِرْتَ بِهَا حَتَّى مَا تَجْعَلُ فِي فِي إِمْرَأَتِك That you will not spend anything, any nafaka, any expense with which you seek the face of Allah except that you will be rewarded for it. Even the morsel that you put into the mouth of your wife, you will get rewarded for that. Okay, so this is how you spend your wealth. And this is a reminder we need for the, for the husbands, because we sometimes we get complaints from wives and families that their husbands don't spend on them. And this is an obligation. This is an obligation. Men have to spend on their wives. This is one of her rights. And if you don't, then she has a right to annul the marriage. We have women come in complaining their husbands are wasting money on gambling, on other things, or sitting at home, wasting their time on the internet, not providing for the family. This is all sin. But if you are providing and you are maintaining them, you are getting rewarded for it. If you have this intention, inshaAllah ta'ala. And also, my brothers, other ways we can invest our money for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it will count for us on Yawm Al-Qiyamah 
is in the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is narrated by Al-Bazzar and others and class Sahih by Shaykh Al-Albani. He said that Sab'un yajri lil abdi ajruhunna Seven things. Remember the seven things whose reward continues for the servant wa huwa fi qabrihi and he is in his grave. So this is the tomorrow that Allah Azawajal told us to think about. So while he is in his grave, seven things, what are they? After his death. Uh, first of them, man allama ilman. One who has taught something, some knowledge. Okay? We may not be able to be able to do that, but if Allah has given, blessed you with knowledge and has taught you something of this deen, then spread it, teach it to others. Don't keep it to yourself. Even if it's one hadith that you've understood, teach it to others. We need to spread this deen of Islam. So you'll get reward for this. Second, what's the second one? O kara nahran. Or has uh, caused or has been uh, involved in running a stream of water, a source of water. O hafara bi'ran. That's the third one. Who has dug a well. O gharasa nakhlan. Who has planted a tree, a palm tree. O bana masjidan. O built a masjid. O warratha mushafan. O has endowed or has left a mushaf as a, as a waqf. O taraka waladan yastaghfiru lah ba'da mawtihi. Who has left a child, a righteous child, a pious child who asks Allah's forgiveness for his parent after his death. These are seven things, my brothers. Some of them don't involve money, but some of them do. So these are things that you can put your money into, which will continue to benefit you in your grave. Okay, knowledge. If you can't teach knowledge, you can help in the spread of knowledge by helping da'wah, by helping to produce books, by helping maybe perhaps students of knowledge who can't afford to study, supporting them. Inshallah, you'll get the reward by helping those, those people. Water. Is one of the most is the most valuable resource on this earth, and alhamdulillah we take it for granted. We can simply turn the tap on and water comes flowing. But many a places children die from drinking dirty water. So if you've helped somewhere where they have access to clean water through a well or through a stream, all of that will continue to benefit you in your grave, and of course on Yom Al Qiyamah. Or trees that you plant, fruit trees, palm trees that people can benefit from, either from their fruits or through uh, wood or whatever it may be, this will benefit you on Yom al Qiyamah. Building masjid, a masjid, building a house of Allah in which Allah is worshipped, where knowledge is uh, taught, all of that, again, you know the hadith, whoever builds a masjid for Allah, Allah builds a house for him in Jannah. So again, this will help you, not only you'll get a house in Jannah, but it will help you in your grave. And we can perhaps extend this a little further, say establishing institutions of knowledge, centers of learning like schools, madaris, madrasas. We have a dire need to establish these institutions because the government is not going to do it for us. We need to do it. We need to be involved in this. We need to come forward with our wealth and say, here, I have this money which is sitting in the bank which can go towards establishing a Muslim school or a madrasa or something where the Muslims can benefit from. And the greatest benefit will come back to yourself. Or, warratha mushafan. Leaves in wakf, a mushaf that people read, benefit from. And we can also say, books of knowledge that people study from. You leave it in a masjid where you give money that people can use this and benefit from. You will get this. And of course, a righteous child that you raise that is brought up in the worship of Allah and then after you makes dua for you that child will inshallah will benefit, benefit you so these are some ways my brothers that we can inshallah invest with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the money that Allah has given to us rather than leaving it in a bank that you know is not doing anything for us invest it into something that will give you this return on Yawm al Qiyam with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the ways that we've mentioned. Establishing Sadaqa Jari. You know, investing into something that is going to continue to benefit you. Okay, as we said, uh, just uh, highlighting the points from this hadith. Teaching beneficial knowledge. Calling to sunnah and guidance 
calling to Islam, raising a pious child, establishing a masjid or a madrasa, 